Did you know you can QSY with just a single button press on an APRS radio? Let me show you how it's done. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK here. This is an often overlooked feature in APRS with an APRS radio. If you program your radio correctly, then other stations will be able to see exactly what frequency you're on and that information will auto-update as you change frequencies. Today, we're going to take a look at three different radios, the Yaesu FTM 400, 500, and the Kenwood D75. I'll show you how to use the QSY feature, and then I'll show you how to program each of those three radios so it will automatically update your frequency in your outgoing APRS packet. Let's go ahead and jump over to the radios. All right, so let me show you guys how this QSY feature works on the FTM 400, and then we'll take a look at it on the FTM 500, and then we'll take a look at how to set up both of these particular radios. So you can see right now my radio is in VFO mode on channel 2. In order for this to work, we need for the radio to be in VFO mode. So the first thing we're going to do is down here in the bottom left corner, press that VM button, and now we're on, uh, or now we're in the VFO mode, and we're on the national calling frequency of 146.52. Now let's go ahead and pull up our APRS station list by pressing the F key right here on the right-hand side of the FTM 400, and we'll press this S dot list button right here. That's going to bring us into a list of stations that we are hearing or have heard recently. And we can go ahead and scroll down to one of these. Now that one there is listening on 145.49. So if I've got his station highlighted and I simply press the QSY button, you heard that beep, hopefully. That tells us that the radio has been reprogrammed for this particular repeater in this instance. So I'm just going to press the back button. And now, instead of being on 146.52, you'll see that I'm on 145.49. The tone is already in there, and the offset has been programmed in. So we should, I think I can kerchunk this repeater from here. Let me turn some volume up, and let's give this a quick test. And you'll see that we are getting into that repeater. So that's a quick and easy way that you can use the QSY feature on these APRS radios. All right, let's take a look at this on the FTM 500, and I'm going to show you a little bug that I have found uh, in this particular radio. Now, I'm not running the latest firmware update, so a firmware update might have fixed this, uh, but you do have to make sure that the radio is in VFO mode. If you're not, use the VM button up in the top right corner to change that to VFO mode. Now, let's go ahead and look at our station list. I have programmed a shortcut, so I'm going to use the top right button. I'm going to press in on that. And if you're a frequent APRS flyer, I suggest you put these in your shortcut list right here as well. If you'll notice, I can get to my APRS message list right there and the APRS station list right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that station list. That's going to bring up a list of stations. Now, unlike other radios, I can only see the call in the FTM 500 from this screen. So let's go ahead and press on that. Uh, top right button again, that brings us into this screen here. Now I'm going to press the top right button one more time, and what you'll notice is this little icon right here with the two chasing arrows uh, around a piece of notebook paper is what it looks like to me anyway. That allows us to quickly scan down through the list. So that one I'm not seeing a frequency on, I'm not seeing a frequency there. There's one that I am seeing a frequency on. So let's go ahead and move our radio using that QSY feature to this 145.23 repeater. I'm going to press the bottom right button this time. I'm going to move over to QSY, and I'm going to press the bottom right button again. When I do, you're going to hear the radio beep, indicating that the change has occurred. There's the beep that we're looking for. Now I'm going to use the back button that's on the bottom right-hand side of this big knob to go all the way back out to the screen. And you'll see that it has programmed the repeater at 145.23, and it gave us the correct tone. The little glitch that I have found, or bug, whatever you want to call it, 
in the FTM500 is it doesn't automatically set the repeater offset, even though I've got my radio configured to do that auto offset. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hand mic. Let's see, let's get back off that screen. I'm going to use the hand mic to go up and then down in frequency. You'll notice that that gets it to go ahead and give us the correct offset. Now, let's put a little volume in there and let's kerchunk that repeater and verify that it did set it correctly. And there you go. You can see that it definitely programmed in that repeater minus the offset. So because I've got that auto offset uh, set up in the radio, just pressing the up and down, we'll go ahead and reconfigure that. Hopefully that's been fixed in a later firmware version, and I'll see that as soon as I update my radio. All right, let's take a look at one more radio here. Of the HTs that I'm aware of, Kenwood is the only one that allows this on the radio. None of my Yezu uh, HTs feature the QSY button. Uh, just like before, we are going to go to the stationless. Oh, one more thing. On the Kenwood, it doesn't matter if you're in VFO mode or memory mode. Right now, I'm in memory mode as indicated by this number right over here to the top right. All right, let's go ahead and press number five on the keyboard to get us to our station list. And I'm going to come down. I believe that station I was looking for is around 52 or 53. Uh, there we are, 52. So that AC4DE. Let's go ahead and click on that one, and you'll see that he's on 145.49 tone 100. Now, I probably won't be able to hit that repeater from inside with an HT, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and press the menu button next on the radio, and you'll see that we get that tune 145.490. Let's just press enter on the radio that's in the center of the D-pad, and that has went ahead and moved our radio to the correct frequency, the correct tone, and the correct offset. I'm gonna give it a little volume, and we will attempt to kerchunk the repeater. Yeah, I don't know if that was uh, actually getting into it or not, but the radio is set correctly. Now, to set this information up to make sure your D75 is transmitting uh, your frequency and tone and offset, let's go ahead and press the menu button to take us into the menu. We want to be on APRS. Let's press enter right there, and we're going to come down to QSY information. Once that is highlighted, let's go ahead and press enter again. In this menu here, let's make sure that the QSY info in status is on, tone slash narrow is on, and shift slash offset is also on. And I leave the QSY limit distance off. You could set that to say, uh, you know, 25 miles or so for repeaters, maybe a little bit closer if you only want to deal with simplex. But that's the way you set it up so that the Kenwood D75 broadcasts out your information from the A-band in your APRS packet. Now, in order to program the FTM500 so that you are sending out this information as well, let me get that off the screen. We're going to press and hold the display button to take us into the deep menu. Once you get to there, we want to choose APRS, so you can move these with this top right button. I'll go ahead and press on this top right button to go into that APRS menu. We want to come down to option number 14 on the FTM 400. That is our beacon status text. Let's go ahead and right click our, I'm sorry, click on this again using that top right button. And that will bring us into this screen here. Now you'll see that I have text one selected. So we're going to come down to text one. There's actually, I think five different options. Yeah, five different options in the FTM 400 that you can set up. But I want to use text one and you'll see that I've got WinLink in there already. If we click the top right button again, that's going to bring us into this screen here. And you'll notice that I've got frequency and squelch and shift highlighted. So make sure that you've got that highlighted. Press your top right button again. That will bring you into this screen here. You'll see that it's going to broadcast out the frequency, uh, the squelch and the shift along with my WinLink message that I want in there. And the reason for having WinLink in my comment is that will alert me if I have any pending um, unread WinLink messages. So once you've got that there, you just go ahead and simply press the enter button. Now, well, let's go back out to the main screen. 
Now, whatever frequency you're on on the A-band will be automatically broadcast out uh, with your APRS packets. And the cool thing about it is if I shift frequencies on the A-band, it will go ahead and automatically update that information and go out with the next APRS packet. Okay, now to set up the FTM 500 uh, with the frequency information, it is very, very similar to the FTM 400. First, we're going to long press the top right button right here to get into the menu system, and we're going to come down to menu item 84. Go ahead and click into menu item 84. Come down to one of your texts, whichever one you have selected here, in this slot, in my case, I've got text one selected, so we're going to go to text one right here, and I'm going to press this button on the top right again, taking me into this right here. Make sure that you've got frequency, squelch, and shift all enabled, so that last option, press the top right button again, you'll get this screen right here. We can then long press the top right button to save all of that information. Now, go ahead and get out of this, and your FTM 500 will now include the frequency that you've got on the A-band here in your APRS packet. All right, now you know how to program and use the QSY feature in your APRS radio. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.